at the time in Mississippi, my mother was a teacher and my father was a principal. All of that occurred during the time of segregation. Um, that's how they ended up um, moving from Mississippi to Ohio. Um, my father was trying to help the students at his school and the superintendent uh, was not happy with what he was trying to do, so they fired him. I graduated from Alcorn in 1989 with a bachelor's in music education, and then I returned to Ohio to teach in the Columbus Public Schools uh, for about three years, I believe it was, before um, my family and I relocated back in Mississippi with where my parents um, were living then. Um, and I actually even eventually ended up going back to school and got a master's in fine arts, um, specializing in fashion, and now I'm an instructor at Alcorn. You know, they spent a lot of time visiting down here, but I really didn't know um, that they were uh, making plans to move uh, back home. When they were in Mississippi, um, they were still in Mississippi during the the beginnings, the very beginnings of integration, and the schools in Mississippi had not even really begun uh, to integrate. That was more uh, a northern uh, trend at that time. So by the time I came back, um, the schools, yes, the schools were integrated, but something else had happened in a lot of the Mississippi schools. Um, the whites actually pulled their kids in a lot of places out of the public schools and placed them in private schools. So when I, you know, started my teaching um, in the Delta, I, I think I maybe had maybe four or five white students out of all the students that I had. And, and keeping in mind that when I was teaching in the Delta, I taught kindergarten all the way through eighth graders. The state as a whole is not backwoods, um, which is what people tend to think. Um, and the, the, the people that come in my generation and younger, um, there is more, uh, what's the word, acceptability. It's more acceptable from within my generation and, and younger. Um, when you go older, you know, the older generations, there's some um, acceptance, but you can still kind of, you know, you can still kind of tell, you know, that, you know, that they're locked in their way. They just are. <laughs> and, you know, there's no changing some of that. Um, but I, I guess you could say that I have an appreciation um, down here. If they don't want to be bothered with me, I, they let me know. I've encountered racism in Ohio before, but the difference to me is, is that I didn't know all the time. You know, it was kind of like smiling your face and then, you know, then you kind of find out versus being down here. They just don't want to be bothered. They don't let you know they don't want to be bothered.